Shalom, shalom, as the brother Kadash. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Kakadash. Don't want honors to apostles and great most on peace, blessings, and honors to all the brothers and this truth. Man, you got to check this out. Try to bear with me because I'm going to try to recall this. I just woke up. I'm going to try to recall this the best I can. But this is visions of the chariots of Israel or visions of um, UFOs. I'm going to name it either one of those. I would classify myself as a dreamer. I always have dreams. Like, if I study before I sleep, I'm going to dream about what I just study about. And I'm going to wake up and know it basically by heart. I could dream things. If I want to do something, if it's something I desire to do, and I have to get it done, I have to take steps, I dream about it, and then I figure it out. So throughout my dreams, I could figure things out. You know, um, I get visions a lot. You know, a lot of brothers say they don't never dream or anything like that. My wife, she's kind of like that. She doesn't ever dream. So when she does have a dream, we do take it really serious. And that's why a lot of brothers also say that. But even with me having a lot of dreams, I could tell the difference between them by the feeling. Now, I always have dreams about chariots. I've had dreams plenty of times about chariots. They come almost like visions. It's like you get a glimpse. And then you will start dreaming about something else or you just get a glimpse and you will stay on that one glimpse. And it'd be like your whole dream would be just that one glimpse. And then you'd be like, what is going on? And it just be random, you know. So but last night I had a real feeling dream. I mean, it felt like a vision. This stuff, I can't make it up. And you're going to be able to see because some things that I wouldn't want to happen happen in a dream. You know, that's another indication that, OK, you might be dealing with something real, you know, through the spirit. So I'm going to try to start this dream off the best I can, right? So we, it was me and my wife, I remember it. I don't know who else was there, but we were in a Walmart parking lot. I'm going to try my best to remember it, so you got to kind of bear with me. We in, I remember we were in a Walmart parking lot, right? And we were just in the parking lot for some time. And everybody, it was more people in there leaving out, going into Walmart, stuff like that. So I was the first one to notice. I looked up into the sky. You know us, Hebrew Israelite, man, we always pay attention to the sky because we know the chariots are up there, you know. So I looked up to the sky, right? And I seen this this shape UFO, which is a chariot of Israel in the Bible. Or sometimes the Bible refers to it as a cloud. I'm looking up, I see it from the bottom. But this time when I see it, it's not far away. It doesn't look like an orb of light. It's really close, and you can see the details of it. So I'm starstruck. I'm looking up because I've never seen it with this amount of details. There's no debating so whatever what this was. This was not a plane. This was not a helicopter. You could see the details. So that's what had me so starstruck. I'm like... I'm like, oh, I know I need some background music, but I want to do this route. So I'm like, okay, I'm like, um, man, I'm like, you can see this. It's not hiding anymore. It's just standing still, everybody. So I'm one of the first ones to see it. So I tell my girl, she's looking at me, and she's like, she's like, um, she's like, what's wrong? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? And I, I'm, I can't even say nothing. And I just point up, and I, and I just point up, and I'm, um. And then she look, and then she gets starstruck. And um, I'm trying to remember exactly how it happened, every detail. So you could just see the bottom of it, and I'm going to show you a picture of the bottom of it. Oh, it's locky, hold right here, because I drew it. So this how the bottom of it look. This how it look. If you're standing in a Walmart parking lot, you're looking up, and you see a couple clouds around it, but they're not thick clouds. You can still, it's just mist. And this is not even that far up, you know. This is probably... Like, if you go to Six Flags, right, and you um see the Superman, the thing that goes straight up and then it drops you straight down, the top of that thing, however high that is, that's probably where this thing was hovering. This um, chariot was hovering that. So you could see the bottom of it, like, detail. Like, all this that I drew, you could literally see these lines. And the circles were, um there were lights. They were lighting up in the... um. The um the little oval things around the circles, the outside perimeter, all that was lighting up. Everything on the bottom that you could see was lighting up. And it was lighting up like a light blue. And it was Mr. Claus moving past it, but it was just sitting there. 
So I'm starstruck. Now, here, let me switch back. Now, in my dream, why I keep going back to I was starstruck because I could really feel this. And that's what I say. I could feel the difference. So in my dream, like when I'm dreaming about this, like I feel like my heart is starting to pound. My heart was starting to pound while I'm dreaming. I could feel this. This feels real. Like I can't move, but my heart is pounding. And I'm like, my whole body is like feeling like a, a adrenaline rush, you know? So I'm sitting here thinking, what's about to happen? It's only two things that's about to happen if it's showing itself this and it's not moving, it's not going, nothing, it's time. So I'm like, either everybody's right here is going to die or, you know, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to be beamed up. I'm really thinking that. I'm feeling it, but I always think about the option, like, how would it be to be beamed up? Because, you know, I'm 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 not scared of heights, but you talking about with no gear or nothing like that, you just being beamed up into the sky and you could be beamed up miles and miles into the sky, however many feet. You know, so I so I'm I'm kind of like stuck because I'm like, what if it happened? I get beamed up. I'm going to go all the way up there. It's kind of scary thing, you know, but we know that it can happen in the twinkling of a light. So next, what happens from this is it just jumps to like there's warning, there's sirens. So Esau knew that this thing was there. So then there's sirens come and everybody is rushed into the Walmart, right? So this is the weird thing about it, right? So when everybody get into the Walmart, because everybody's supposed to take cover, because something start, it's like things start falling out the sky. I don't know if it was nukes. I don't know if it was meteors, but stuff start fall out the sky. And this, um, this um cherry is just right here, you know. So if the cherry is right here. I'm thinking, okay, did it come to beam me up, beam my family, or beam some another brother up that might be in the truth, that might be the elect around here in this big parking lot. But stuff is falling out the sky. So everybody running into Walmart to try to duck for cover. Me, I'm running to Walmart too, but I can't take my eyes off the chariot. I'm just sitting back. I'm I'm still staring, turning back around, staring, looking at the chariot, looking at the UFO, right? I'm just looking at it, but I'm running at the same time. My girl, we get split up because I'm running like that. I'm running slow because I can't take my eyes off. I'm just looking at it. I'm, mesmer I'm mesmerized. My girl, she go. She already gone. A lot of people, we get split up my wife right so i end up thinking she already in the walmart right so i'm like one of the last ones that's about to get into walmart but something didn't feel right about me going into walmart so when i'm getting to the door there's all these um military they got military the um the army um the um, army fatigue you know the um where they could blend in army fatigue, you know, um, outfits on. And they stand in line by line. They st they standing in line in front of Walmart kind of guarding the doors. There's two ways you could get in. Now, there's a way down a little bit where you could get in where people was going to. So when I get to the door, I see them standing by the door guard. And something told me, don't go into Walmart, man. This is about to be a trap, man. They finna force people to stay in here. So, but I didn't know where my, where my wife went. And I'm just telling you 100% honest, the truth, you know, I would like for her to be right next to me, but this is just what happened in my dream. Now, what happens is, is I turn around to the military man and I say, I say, no, no, my wife, my wife, I think she's in the other one. I think she's in the other one. Just let me run down to the other one. Cause they like, no, I get in, get in. I'm like, just let me run down to the other one. I'm going to get in through that way. So he lets me do it. He's like, okay, run, go down there. Get in that one. So instead of running there, I take off running. I, I I go that direction. And I think it's just something told me, no, this is a trap. So I take off running. So I don't know if that's a hint at that, you know, these Walmarts are going to be used as FEMA camps and stuff like that. But kind of like my knowledge and my understanding and my training and my studying the scriptures, I kind of knew that. I had that feeling. See, and that's why it plays a big part to study the scriptures and know these precepts and know these different stories and these examples so you could be prepared for stuff like this to know what to do and, not, and what not to do. So I take off running, right? So I run across the street and then this is like little small little city setting thing, you know, with buildings and stuff like that. So I run into it. The chariot is still there, illuminating. Stuff falling out the sky. So I run to the city and then it and then it's weird, right? So I'm getting chased. Yeah, so I start getting chased. So it kind of gets cloudy right here. So I'm kind of trying to think about it. So I'm getting chased. I remember I'm getting chased. I'm having a, a run and jump over things, run and slide under things and stuff like that. 
there's like this little way this um I end up getting in this like little like a uh, kind of like a flea market. Yeah, kind of like a flea market. But it's a way out the back of the flea market. But in order to get to it, you have to um you have to like take down this wall, climb under something and pop out the other side behind it. Right. So people are chasing me, but I end up getting to that. They right on my tail. I end up getting to that, doing all that, pop out the other side and I'm just gone. I'm free. And that's pretty much was all. <laughs> that's the whole dream. Like I said, I get it in visions. Maybe I see it again. Maybe it'll come back and it'd be a part two and more to it. But that's that's pretty much all. But all I know, the main thing is it was a chariot in the sky, kind of like this picture. It was a little bit higher. So where the clouds was at, where the clouds are at in this picture, the chariot was up in the clouds, but you could see it. It wasn't move. It wasn't moving. It was just standing there illuminating kind of a bluish light, just like that on the bottom. But like the drawing that I see, it was illuminating in the sky and it was just sitting there. You could see it detailed. You could see all the details on it as if a helicopter was sitting up there. You could see the bottom of a helicopter. That's kind of what it was, but it was like a disc shape, kind of like the drawing, and I just remember feeling that, and it, and it was there. So the chariots of Israel is real, man, and they coming. They come. It's going to be a day where they're not going to be zipping by and, and hiding and, and cloaking themselves. They're going to come, and they're going to show their says, Oh, one more thing about the dream. I tried with my phone calling my girl, but we didn't have no signal. So all the signal had went out. But the military had these radios that ha they, they still had signals, so they must have been built or hardwired or they must have been resistant, you know, um, some type of technology. So they had their radios. And right before I escaped, the person was on um, the, the people that was following me. One of them had a radio and I could hear it was like they were speaking to the U.S. government, government, governor. And it was like he's getting away. So they knew, so it was something about me where they wanted me. Like, it wasn't like I was just a normal, average, regular person. They didn't care. Oh, if he run, he run. So what? No, they was after me. Like, he's getting away for some type of reason. Almost like they were hunting the elect. That's, that's what I think now, but I didn't think that in a dream. Now, what I heard them talking about to the U.S. Gover governor, um, government, they was like, the government was responding back to these military men that was chasing me, and they was like, this is happening all over, and they said, Florida, they was like, Florida's already been destroyed, that's what I, exactly, and that was it, that was it, it was like, they was like, this is happening all over, the, the yeah, actually, it was like, this is happening all over, these things are appearing all over, meaning that these chariots, these UFOs are appearing all over, and they was like, Florida has already been destroyed, completely, um, desolate. Yeah, I heard. I, I remember the word desolate. They was like, Florida's been destroyed, completely desolate. And I remember it was Florida. And I kind of got a glimpse of a vision of Florida just on just it was just it looked like um Japan after they dropped the atomic bomb on it. If you look at those documentaries and all you see is just small sticks left from trees sticking out the ground and buildings and nothing but planes. And then you would see a remnant of a building to be all black and smoked out from burning and fire. That's what Florida looked like. The whole Florida looked like just like something came down, blew up, exploded and left fire. And everything was covered with ashes and black and burnt and everything gone and desolate. I got a vision of that while I was running. And then I went out the back. And um, I left and I was gone and that was the end of the dream. 100% real. So it could have been a vision, man. It could have been a vision of things to come. And I know a lot of brothers be getting these dreams and stuff like that. Let me flip back to this picture. Just like that. That's how the chariot looked from a bottom, from looking at it from the bottom. That's how it looked, man. And and that's 100% accurate to what I seen, um, what I drew. I actually tried to draw it a couple times to get it perfect to what i actually seen and this is this is the best i could get this is what it looked like from the bottom man real stuff brothers be getting these visions during these times but these chariots is coming back man and you don't want to be on the wrong side man you want to keep the law statutes commandments to have faith in the lord you want to know his name you want to know yahweh you want to know um the son yahweh shy and you want to have faith and keep the law statutes and commandments let all the rest of that bs go 
and um because the time is ticking the time is coming and when i woke up that's one of the things i was almost talking to myself man i was like man all, all this other that's one of the things i was thinking when i woke up is man don't none of this other bullshit matter that's one of the first things i was thinking when i woke up none of this other bullshit matters didn't nobody give no fuck about no NBA game. Didn't nobody give didn't nobody care about no NFL game. Didn't nobody care about no entertainment movies. No, no Will Smith. Didn't nobody care about no um Jay-Z. No, no, no rappers. Didn't nobody care about none of that. None of that BS mattered. No job, no plantation job, no money. None of that mattered. When all this was going down, only thing I was worried about at that moment, I didn't even I wasn't even thinking about my family. At the moment, that's why me and my wife got split up. The only thing I was thinking about was the cherry. I just was stuck on it, looking at it. All commotion, all hell stuff breaking out, um, coming out the sky. People breaking off, running, darting towards the Walmart doors and and um cars and stuff. And they got you got to you seeing people zigzag past cars and stuff like that. And um, people is yelling, "Get in now, get in!" And uh, only thing I'm look, I'm looking at the cherry, and then and then I'm starting to try to move, but I'm going so slow because I'm just my head is still turned, just looking up at the sky at the cherry. That's the only thing that mattered in that time. I'm going to leave it there, man. Salvation to the elect. Shalom. Visions of chariots.